there, I'm Marissa Bailey. Some say the Entertainment District of Buffalo has gotten a bad rap lately, in part because of recent violence in the area. New tonight at 11, we talked to a local bar manager who wants to bring back the Chippewa that he says was a success 10 years ago, and he thinks he's found a way to do just that. In the early hours of Halloween, an 18-year-old died after being stabbed on the corner of the largest entertainment district in the city of Buffalo. A week later, a 21-year-old is arrested for allegedly dragging a pedestrian down the street before crashing. Two violent acts in what's supposed to be a fun social setting, and businesses seem to be among the victims. Our busy time is midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. Rich Brumfield manages the bar foreplay in the heart of the Chip Strip and says his customers are younger and some have caused trouble. Has it hurt the business? Yeah, absolutely. The business from 10 years ago to now is declined drastically. Ten years ago, there was more live music down here around happy hour. People from the business district coming out at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, partying for a couple hours. And Rich has decided to single-handedly bring people back to Chippewa using the live band theory. In a band familiar with the old Chippewa. Sudden Urge years ago was a huge draw in Chippewa. We're kind of the guinea pigs. Steve Pettix and his band Sudden Urge will play Friday night starting at 8 in hopes of drawing in the older crowd from happy hour. If they were playing the Beatles, if, if you know, if, if Twist and Shout was what every DJ was playing, then you'd have an older crowd. No problem. But they're not. You know, they're playing Usher and they're going, who? And so they're, they're, they're running for their cars from Shays as fast as they possibly can. A habit Rich and the band want to change, starting with the motto, if you play it... They will come. Hopefully, if it's a success on Friday, then uh, you know other clubs might follow suit, and we just kind of go from there. The show this Friday starts at eight o'clock. We've put more information online in this story at wgrz.com. Marissa Bailey, Channel Two News tonight.